Hello everybody, this is Lara at Pure Elliott Wave. I'm going to have a quick look at both Ethereum and XRP after the fireworks that have been happening this week. Last couple of days, some strong downward movement. These two particular markets are holding up rather well. Bitcoin's made a slight, uh, yeah, a little bit of a new low, below its prior low in June 2022. And I did have an alternate wave count that allowed for that. I've updated my Bitcoin analysis for my membership yesterday and today in the comments section of their last analysis so I can't give that to you on the YouTube channel because they're paying me for it but I can give you Ethereum and XRP. This is my main wave count for XRP from the low the end of the bear market in December 2018 from this low to this high my main wave count says primary one over here and primary two over here if this low is taken out, then I'd expect primary two is continuing lower, and I'd label that W, X, and Y would be A, B, C. While this low remains intact, this will be my main wave count for Ethereum. If primary two is over there, then primary three should have begun. My possible target is for primary three to reach 11.09, the length of primary one, a fairly extreme Fibonacci ratio, but reasonable for Ethereum, that target 54.226. With if primary three has begun here, then intermediate one may be over here. I may need to move the degree of label, labeling here down one degree. This might be too short for intermediate one. We won't know that for a few months. For now, we'll label it intermediate one and intermediate two. Let's see how this downward movement's unfolding. My main daily chart, intermediate two, I'm seeing that as a double zigzag. W, X, Y. It doesn't have the best look and I've had to redraw the channel now that we've got this downward movement. I had previously expected that the low was in here and Ethereum was holding up rather well. But now this low has been taken out, it's obvious Intermediate 2 is continuing lower. What I mean why, by this doesn't have the best look is W and Y aren't really that proportional. W, w is a lot shorter and Y is a lot longer, although in terms of actual price distance travelled, W is 595 and Y so far is 631. So in terms of price distance travelled, they're not that far off equality. But when you look at it on a semi-log scale, that Y is just huge in comparison to W. I've tried to find another wave count for intermediate two. I just can't find one that has a very good look. This has got the best look. I tried to see A, B, C, but the problem is the B wave just doesn't look right. So I think a double zigzag looks best. And so I have a target for you for a little bit more downward movement for Ethereum. Within minor Y at 1105, minute C would reach equality in length with A. So C from this high to the low would reach equality in length with A. So I expect a little bit more downward movement for Ethereum. I have a weekly alternate wave count which sees instead of primary one over here, primary one, two, three, four and five in its early stages with intermediate one and intermediate two to move a bit lower. Now I haven't updated that one, doesn't matter because it'll probably be essentially the same. Let's look at some technicals for Ethereum. Volume is pushing price lower. Range is expanding. This is a strong downward movement. This looks like a third wave or a C wave. Volume tends to push price lower for these markets and the lows can end on volume spikes sometimes, not always. At this low here, which so far remains intact, the volume was increasing, excuse me, volume was increasing on this downward session here and then a little bit of consolidation in the final low saw declining volume compared to the previous low back here. We could see that again. So I'd expect more downward movement, this is very bearish at the moment, maybe some consolidation and then a final low. It remains to be seen if support at 896.109 is going to remain intact. So here we can see it a little bit more clearly. Volume spike is on this downward session, but that wasn't the low, it was this one down here. Could see that again. Strong volume toward the end of the downward movement. Look for some consolidation and then a final low. Remains to be seen how low that's going to go. ADX is increasing, the negative, negative DX lines above the positive, there's a downward trend, there's a long way to go before this trend becomes extreme, and RSI is not oversold, it was oversold back here at the previous low, if 
Ethereum does make a new low on a closing basis below the previous low on 18th of June 2022, we'd look to see if RSI is making a corresponding low or if there was bullish divergence. So far, price is holding up and that low remains intact. There's a little ways to go before RSI reaches oversold, so the downward trend's not extreme, there's room for it to continue. Stochastics in neutral territory and ATR showing some increase as price starts to move slow, uh, quite strongly lower. What about XRP? This one also is holding up. My weekly wave count for XRP sees a leading expanding diagonal over up here and a double zigzag over down here. Again, this doesn't have perfect proportion, but overall it looks okay. It looks a little bit better than Ethereum's wave count. The channel is a best fit, and so far XRP remains within that channel. And for XRP, also the June week beginning 12th of June 2022 low, that low at 29 cents remains intact. So this wave count remains valid. At the daily chart level though, it was invalidated. I had expected one, two, three, four, five. We didn't get the fifth wave and now this downward movement is within what is wave one price territory, so it can't be a fourth wave. So I've moved the degree of labelling. I've got one, two, and now one, two. I don't like the proportion of this wave count. I think we're probably going to see an invalidation of 32 cents. I think XRP's got a little bit further down to go yet, and that would invalidate this, this wave count and would add confidence to this wave count. So this wave count would be invalidated with a new high above 55 cents. If that happens, then this would be my preferred option. Until that happens, though, this is entirely valid, and I think it's probably a little bit more likely, even though I've labelled it an alternate. My target for XRP is 26 cents. That would be where this final fifth wave would reach 0.382, the length of the first wave. This is also seeing a double zigzag, W, X, why I played with trying to see A, B, C, or preferably A, B, C. I just can't see a five wave motive structure over from this high to this low. I just can't get it to fit. You'd want to label it one, two, three, four, five, but the first wave would have to be a diagonal because of the overlapping, and I cannot make it work and meet the rules regarding wavelengths or a diagonal. So this doesn't have the best proportion because minute 4 is much longer lasting than minor B one degree higher, but it's not too bad. So I, this is going to be my best wave count, I think, for XRP. I think it's got a little bit more downward to go. My target, 26 cents. And this is the idea at the daily chart level. So I'm expecting W, X, Y, double zigzag, second zigzag, A, B, C, minus C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In the fifth wave down, here's the fifth wave where it begins at the daily chart level. The fifth wave so far with 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, three overlapping first and second waves. 3, 4, we need 3, 4, 3, 4, 5. So on the way down, two smaller consolidations. Could be really brief. This one was over within a session. But I would want to put a fourth wave in here. I think that looks right for a cryptocurrency. They often have fourth waves that are more brief than counterpart second waves. Let's look at some classic analysis for XRP. There was a gravestone doji and a bearish engulfing candlestick up here. So getting some downward movement. These lows remain intact. There's strong support down here. Also about 30 cents and 29 cents. Quite a lot of strong support down there. Volume pushing price lower, but not as strongly as volume pushed price higher up to previous highs. So the volume profile is more bullish than it is bearish, even though for the short term it's bearish, and I'll expect a bit more downward movement for XRP. On balance volume moving lower with price, still holding up really well, both price and on balance volume. ADX increasing, indicating a downward trend. There's a very long way to go before it's extreme. This is an extremely bearish signal from ADX. It's the strongest signal ADX can give when it rises up from low levels, coming up from below both DX lines. The negative DX lines above the positive, so the trend is downward, obviously. 
RSI is still a neutral territory, so neither ADX nor RSI are extreme. There's a long way to go before this trend reaches extreme and conditions reach oversold. Money flow index also holding up rather well, still well in neutral territory. So I think for XRP we're probably going to see a little bit more downward movement. 26 cents if we do, but there's strong support to be overcome about 29 cents first. That's it. That's my update for Ethereum and XRP for you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support.